Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Getting Lost at Camp Generimio. I, I can't say, I'm not saying that right at all. But yeah, by the odd ones out. Now, the main reason why I'm reacting to this late, well, a little bit late, is because, uh, you know, I went on a hike with just my, you know, my family at home because I know where they've been. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, originally in the search, make sure you subscribe to the odd ones out. Thanks for some jokes. Now, let's just get right into it. Now, if you haven't read Lord of the Flies, you're probably going to have to in school one day. Let me give you oh, a British version for when that time I already know eventually what it is. comes. The Lord of the Flies is a book about a yeah. bunch of little British boys who got marooned on a deserted island. Me and the boys. And the book tells the nice. story about what the boys do to survive the elements, but also themselves. Within like a yeah. week on the island, the boys devolve into Don't they kill each other? Yeah, they, they kill they kill each other. Pig. Yee. I said too much. And when I read the book in high school, I thought having the boys turn savage so quickly wasn't all that accurate. As a former young boy well, yeah. myself, I was insulted that William Golding thought that us little boys were so heartless. But then I remembered all the things that happened at my scout camp, Camp Geronimo, and I realized Geronimo. that the boys oh. is still inaccurate. The boys would have gone savage way faster. Listen, I'm a cautious <laughs> person when I'm hanging around nice. the guys. In PE, hey. the other boys would be playing this game called quarters, You have the guys? No. Quarters at people's knuckles until they bled. Yeah, but I wouldn't play no. that game because it's dangerous and I'm a loser. What's that? When What's I was at a party volleyball? and someone wanted to play the knife game to show off how good their hand-eye coordination oh, yeah. was, I wouldn't play that game either because I needed my hands to draw. But something about being with the guys in the middle of the woods? I would live on the edge. Every summer, our troop stayed at this camp okay. called Camp Geronimo, named after the Apache Indian who was the first person to yell Geronimo while doing a sick backflip into his pool. One time, me and a couple other boys, I really? don't remember who started it, but we were playing with matches, and okay, I know what you're thinking, What's but that crocodile that happened, thing? Okay, we just accidentally lit some dried bushes on fire and it got somewhat out of control but it's okay it's fine okay we told the scoutmaster that there was a loose fire spreading faster than we could put it out and he got everyone in the troop to stomp on it and we never got in trouble well, what were we doing with the matches oh we were just lighting them and throwing them at each other Anyway, about 30 other scout troops attacked. Hey, Animal Crossing, nice. Sleeping in I love that. That actually looks Most really the camp cool. Honestly felt like that that looked really outside. cool. Like when you got to the camp, you were given a schedule of classes, and for the next seven days, you would go to those classes and learn hey. and fill out packets and some Gotta love those homework, Animal Crossing which references. Which probably helped us not devolve into savages. I mean, sure, the classes weren't as boring as English or geometry. Geronimo's classes hey. were wilderness <laughs> survival, kayaking, love the memes. or bare self defense. Earning a merit badge required two things. The first thing, you had to write stuff down. Name and point out the major parts of a kayak. Kayak. Explain to your counselor the hazards you are most likely to encounter while participating in kayaking activities. Bears. And the second part of the merit badge, you had to actually go out and do stuff. Capsize the kayak, swim it and the paddle to the shore, and if you don't make it, the bears will get you. I never got the kayaking merit badge. You had to be at least 12 to go okay. to Geronimo, but you could go as an 11-year-old if a parent was coming with you. And at the time, my dad was a camp counselor. My birthday was May 14th, and Geronimo oh. was at the end of May, so I barely made the cutoff as the youngest person going. Geronimo was a big step from spending three days at Cub Scout Day Camp to spending a week in the wilderness. What made it worse was I was going to be spending a whole oh. week with all the mean older scouts and my dad. There was this one scout named Paul. When I was 11, he was 15. So naturally, he would pick on me and make fun of me. Oh. Uh -huh, I get it. I'm small, so I suck. But silver lining, he got fatter. And a couple years ago, he reached out to me. And I had been doing the whole YouTube thing for a while. He was off starting his own business. And he wanted to do some business opportunity with me. And I just said, hey, do you want to do my merch? So now he works for me. So kids, if you ever have wait, really, merch, just become successful on YouTube and then hire them to sell plushies. He's actually a really good merch guy. He gets all my stuff into these retail stores. So if you oh. see a loof plushie at Hot Topic, you can say thanks, Paul. Bullies Hashtag really not sponsored. Hashtag anyway, self-promotion aside, my first year at Geronimo, yeah. I was a little bit on the very young side compared to everyone else. I was taking a class called Orienteering. The class taught us how mean, to read maps and use a compass. No. And one day it was time for our class to go on a scavenger hunt thing. 
We were given a list of places we had to go to, and we were supposed to use our compass and count our paces to get to each specific location. Then when we got to our destination, oh. there would be a marker somewhere, and we would have to write down what that marker was. There were 10 different markers that we had to find, and the course was supposed to lead us in a circle. The leader who was in charge of our group and the compass was an older scout named... Paul. It wasn't the merch guy, Paul, but I think it would be funnier if it was. Our group set off to the first location. <laughs> Having a compass and counting your steps isn't the most accurate way of navigation, but we weren't allowed to use Google Maps, so... When we got to the spot, we had to look uh, around for a little bit to find the marker, but we okay. eventually found it, and then we were off to the second location. This time, mm. the marker was harder to find. The spot we landed on was pretty far from where the marker actually was. At the third location, we couldn't find the marker. But we did see this reflective sign on a tree, and we figured that's what the marker was supposed to be, so we wrote it down. At this point, I decided to grab my own compass and give it a try. Oh. My compass pointed in a direction that was a little bit off from Paul's direction. Not by a whole lot, but just enough. But remember, <laughs> I was the little kid. Nothing I said mattered. Paul said things to me like, Oh, you don't know how to use a compass. I bet yours is broken. I'm never going to work for you one day. And you know what? I believed him. This guy is 15 years old. Do you know how wise and experienced he is? So we kept going and struggling. We used anything we found as a marker. Some piece of trash, it's a marker. Hey, this tree has an A and an M carved into a heart. Kind of weird that it's at an all boys camp. Do you think that it's a marker? Eventually, we all had to admit that we were completely what? lost. The other boys told Paul to hand over his compass and Paul reached into his pocket, pulled out his compass, and two buzz magnets. Buzz magnets are magnets that are shaped like a bullet and you can throw them up in the air and they make this cool Oh my sound. god, they that them at the camp store. That so freaking ruins the compass. Them. And everyone immediately figured out why we were lost. For those of you who don't know how compasses and magnets work, yeah. I don't know either. I think it has something to do with them. No, they go space. A compass no. is supposed to point to the magnetic compasses, north pole, yeah. and a magnet will mess up the direction a compass is supposed to point in. Paul's compass wasn't pointing to his pants the whole time. We would have been suspicious if that had happened. But because his compass was right next to a magnet, it got uncalibrated. And then we all got lost in the woods and died. And that's why <laughs> I don't have an orienteering merit badge. I was upset because my compass oh. probably wasn't broken, but I didn't stand up for myself. Because I don't do that. I have more Camp Geronimo <laughs> stories, like the time me and my friend threw a Ziploc bag full of water at the older kids lean-to, and then I ran away so fast that I threw up. But I already did a video about that, and it's five years old. And it's oh. very bad, and you're not allowed to watch it. So, the moral of this video is, <laughs> just because you're young, doesn't mean you're stupid. But it does mean you make bad videos on YouTube. Also, <laughs> check your pockets before going orienteering. Going orienteering. Sounds like a tongue twister. Going orienteering. Going orienteering. Going orienteering. What? Okay. But, uh, yeah, honestly, I really like this video. There was some nice memes in there. I like the Animal Crossing reference. That was really cool. I like that that was drawn. Animal Crossing, that was really cool. I like that. This was a very relaxing, chill video, like always. And, honestly, it was really enjoyable. But, yeah, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye.